<laughs> You're just gonna do it silent. We're gonna it's mime. Just gonna We're just gonna mime the entrance. Silence is what what plays Welcome on YouTube. Welcome back, everyone. To... Welcome to the tasting room. The tasting room. The tasting room. What you call me? What you call me? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Uh, so today, um, you know our love of Angels Envy products. Mm -hmm. We do love them. Um, but they have recently started offering uh, single barrel private selects. So you know how like we talked about how Disney has their Woodford and their own like Knob Creek. Yes. And how um, like the whiskey on Sand Lake has their own Knob Creek. Like companies can buy in to buy up barrels and then bottle those under their own label. Mm -hmm. So Angels Envy previously has only offered three products. They've offered the standard port finish. Yep. They've offered the rye rum finish. Which we loved. Which we loved. And they've offered an annual release. So one time a year they do a barrel strength. That's release. the hard to get one, right? That's the one comes that comes in the, in the fancy box and yeah. all that stuff. But now they have another fourth in-between option. So the standard Angel's Envy is just under 87%. The barrel strength ranges from 125 to 132, but this is an in-betweener. So this is uh, the Lookins Wine and Spirits, which is uh, down by uh, Tampa Bay. Lookins has so many of, of their stuff. own barrels. Good Lord, is that thing like a circus of booze? Yes, but um, but anyway, so they have, they are one of the first uh, distributors to have their own private select. Oh. So that means that they picked a barrel, mm -hmm. bottled the barrel, and then uh, these are now labeled. So this is bottle number 116 from barrel 4604. So this is not only just a private select, meaning the company has selected it, mm -hmm. but it is also single barrel. So this is the first uh, release from Angel's Envy of a single barrel product that's not blended how much was this? From several bottles. This was 120. Okay. So it's not like it's not as much as I thought. No, the 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 barrel strength that they released with the fancy box is 2.99. So that's like that's fancy. So this is nice in between. Sure. If you <laughs> Sure. If you have money to throw around. Sure, I only go high pitch when there's a lot of money. <laughs> um and it comes with this cute little angel wings. That I plan to turn into a necklace someday. I hear it over and over, but I never see it. As soon as the bottle's empty, I'll do that. Yeah, well, cut to us later tonight. Uh, so this particular barrel is 109.2 uh, proof. So just over bottle and bond strength. Is this... <laughs> is this... Um, is this... Uh... <laughs> A reaction to the sip <laughs> and a hundred percent a reaction to you going Woo! <laughs> Woo seriously that is a reaction yeah, no, to the sip. well it's 110 proof almost. um um is this finished in a port barrel too or no it, yes this okay. is so this is the standard angels envy just single barrel and mostly barrel strength you know when i can less. never remember what single barrel actually means it means that one barrel was not blended with any other barrels. They took the barrel off the shelf in the rickhouse and they bottled it. So a lot of times what will happen is there'll be like 10 full barrels up on a shelf and, and they're like, this is part of, of a season 2021, blah, blah, blah. Correct. And then they all get just get dumped into one they giant They all get barrel. dumped together, blended. Gotcha, okay. And then the master distiller So a single it. barrel feels a little more pure. Exactly. Okay. Single barrel is whatever happened to that particular barrel. Intra so okay. this can never be so replicated. I, I knew it was less. I knew you get less from that. So less and less. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So just single like barrel, you get about the yield for a standard size whiskey barrel is about 250 bottles. So um, this, I, I would assume that Lookin's got like four or five barrels. They probably. I was going to say they had to. If they, they were charging that amount of money for this. They probably bottled about a thousand yeah. bottles. Um, but that means that that's why they tell you which barrel and what bottle. I think that's cool, though. This is. What do you think of this? I think that it's, I, I like it a little bit better than the standard Angels, just in that I like that it has that, the boldness. It's almost got a little bit of a woody flavor to it. Like, it's it not, yes. not super present, but it's like, it's like hiding behind the curtains waiting for you to turn around, that type of... Similar to, I mean, I, I have no problem at all with the standard Angel's Envy. In fact, it's one of my favorites. But in the way that we talked about how Penelope sort of 
when they go to the 80 proof, it like disappoints in mm -hmm. strength. I think that the benefit of being at that 109 proof means that those flavors that are Poppin'. naturally there pop out a little bit more at you. I still think the rum finished is my favorite. Rum it's finished no is, question. there's no question. Yeah. That's the that one blew one. so much away that I still, yeah. I'm still, still not able to walk after You're not over it, it yet. Yeah, I, am. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but when you take a sip. This one's got legs. It does, but it's like the whole length of the glass. Dancer's legs. Dancer's legs. Stilt walker legs. <laughs> I think that this, it, it would, it's great to it's sip. It's great to sip. It's warm, but I think it would be excellent in like as a cocktail. What are you thinking with this? Mm, apples. It has a warmth. It has that warmth. Like I almost want it in a hot apple cider. Mm, or tea, like a hot tea. Oh, a tea. Yeah, something like that. Um, well, there you have it. Yeah, this is a great winter drink. This is going to be a tough one for anybody watching this that doesn't live in, in Florida to get. Mm. Well... Uh, I, but other places might. I would have done assume this. that. So Lookins was the first, but I think yeah. other other uh, large like liquor distributors and things should be soon getting their own barrel picks. Yeah. Um, like how like now you can go to like Total Wine and they have like the Total Wine Maker's Mark and the Total Wine. Yeah, they whatever. have a lot now. Um, so I would assume that after the success of this, that other retailers will start to have. Uh, their own buy-in to Angel's Envy as well. So. so if anybody sees one out there, just let us know. I'd, I'd be interested to see who's got one and what's going on with that. So yeah. um, there you have it. Angel's Envy. Or Lukens. you can just drive down to Tampa, to the Clearwater Beach. I'll meet you down there for some... Put your some toes in the water. Some breweries some... I like down there. Yeah. No, honestly, though, uh, if you are local to the Central Florida area, uh, Lookins is like a, it's like a Walmart target of... Of liquor of all kinds not just of bourbons and whiskeys and things but uh they have like everything it's huge it's like a big warehouse we'll have to take a special bourbon study trip there someday put it on the yeah. put it on the patreon maybe so uh if you liked this video thumbs up subscribe to the channel like i just said we have a patreon site patreon.com slash the bourbon study over there we create some exclusive content with some fun tastings and comparisons road trips we're out and about Do on the town you get a little orange peel she's drunk I'm just like, I'm sitting here and I'm like mellowing on it now. And no, I've already decided what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be the cabin in the woods in the snow time. With, with the, the hand with coming the hand. through the roof. Yes. And the ballerina. And oh, not that Sigourney cabin. Weaver. And Thor. If I'm not drinking this with Sigourney Weaver by Chris Christmas Hemsworth. of this year, I'm quitting. <laughs> Everything. If we don't have Hemsworth and Weaver. Hemsworth or bust. Hemsworth or bust. You heard it here. Hemsworth or bust. Come on, 2022. Yeah. Privately selected single barrel 2021. Oh, it's so, got its little, it says what it is on the wings yeah, on the back. So I would assume that like each year the, oh. they have commemorative wings. That's cool. I mean, you could do this like a Christmas ornament. You could like. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. But I'm going to make it into jewelry. Into jewelry. Yeah, so there you go. Well, that'll do it for this episode. See you next time. <laughs> Cheers. Universe.